Hi, and welcome to our first Pinterest Creators Workshop of the Year. I'm Jenna Landy, and I lead our brand insights team here at Pinterest, and I'm here today with Talia. Hi, I'm Talia, and I lead our trends programming on the marketing side and have led this Pinterest Predicts report for the past two years. We are so excited to share with you our 2021 trend report, Pinterest Predicts. Every year, we create a report of the trends we think will take off, all based on what people are searching for globally on Pinterest. Trends at Pinterest are unique, and as a result, Pinterest Predicts isn't your typical trending report. Our data is forward-looking, unlike any other I've ever worked with. And that's because people use Pinterest to find tomorrow's ideas. It's where they plan. Plan anything and everything from their home renovation, to their dream wedding, to what to make for lunch tomorrow. And that's what makes our data so valuable. It's what allows us to know what's next. Our global search data from Pinners provides a window into the future from the platform where they go to plan it. People, like how you as a creator, use Pinterest to find tomorrow's ideas. It's a place to look forward. And if I may say so myself, we have a pretty great track record. Last year, the one and only 2020, we're proud that eight in 10 of the predictions came true in the least predictable year ever. In this graph, you're looking at a few of the trends we called in 2020. See the three dots? That's when we dropped our report. See the sharp incline afterwards? That's our trend coming true. Little did we know when we called our home hub theme last year that we would never leave our homes again. But truly, COVID has been a major accelerator of many trends. Things like outdoor kitchen bars continued to rise as people stretched their home footprint to the max under lockdown. Making purchases with meaning became even more of a priority as we predicted with conscious consumption. We called it for how consumers are being more thoughtful with their environmental considerations, but what we didn't anticipate was just how much this applied to their community and shopping local as well. Our predictions last year made us fired up for what we could do with our 21, 2021 predictions. We strengthened our already robust methodology. In our analysis period from October 2018 to September 2020, we set rigorous volume and growth thresholds to sift through the billions of searches that take place on, on Pinterest each month. We developed and applied a new trend score and used a new modeling technique to be more predictive than ever before. We cross-referenced our English language global searches with local data to ensure that we were capturing market-specific signals, making this our most global report we've ever released. For the first time ever, our report includes a breakdown of where each trend is growing fastest around the world. From this data emerged rich themes capturing these fast growing pinner interests. For anyone that works with data, you know it's important to take a step back and assess what it all means. I've worked at Pinterest for three years and taking a step back this year, I've never been more impressed and amazed with our pinners. At the highest level, we learned that pinners are going deeper, exploring beyond their comfort zone and opening their aperture to so many new and varied interests. They're taking the regular and reinventing it, breaking with norms to bring elegance to athleisure and to take minimalist aesthetic and turn it into skinimalism. They're embracing an internal renaissance. After the plague came the capital R renaissance. When people can't venture outwards, they turn inward. A lot of internal work got done in 2020, and we'll see the fruits of that labor in 2021. And internal doesn't just mean ourselves, but it means reflections on our families and our children as well. Pinners are betting on themselves, out with the old and in with the bold. 2021, people will take ownership of their interests, be designing a new podcast, or bringing new sophistication to how they arrange their dinner plates. And they are seeking aesthetic expression, we know that Gen Zs love to search for aesthetic on Pinterest, but it's actually trending up for everybody, be it a nomadic aesthetic for those looking to bring the outside in or a new aesthetic for their rooms with vibey lights. Now I'm gonna talk, pass it along to Talia to dig into the trends themselves, but first, introducing Pinterest Predicts. <laughs> Thanks, Jenna, for that context to better methodology and for sharing these macro findings about pinner search behavior for 2021. 
This video gives you a glimpse into some of our predictions, but if you're expect expecting just your typical year-end report from a tech company, think again. This is a not yet trending report. First, I'll give you a quick tour of our site. Our landing page shows the breadth of this year's predictions, 150 trends and 30 themes across 10 verticals. And as you can see here, you can even filter by audience from Gen Z to boomers. Meet the trends of 2021. Getaway car, parking space is the new personal space. Vibey lights, neon hue is the new you. You're the top chef, kitchen is the new Michelin. And indie beauty, cheeky is the new chic. And the report is truly global. It pulls in insights from all over the world and is translated into nine countries. Our trends are really a blend of art and science, a mix of trending signals from our insights team with an editorialized spin. And I'm so excited to take you through one of my favorite trends, Athflow, which is a blend of elegance and athleisure. So we worked directly with photographers to source imagery that was representative of different people, different body types, and a range of different abilities. We collaborated with writers across the company to identify and name these inclusive trends. And finally, we partnered closely with our inclusion and diversity team every step of the way. The report is also super actionable. Here you can see local spotlights that highlight top trends for region. And of course, tips for brands and creators to act on these insights. And you can even see some story pins here uh, for many of the predictions, which we will of course share a bit more about later. So this report is really a great example of where the white space is for creators and publishers. Pinners are searching for these terms, the demand is there, and we have the data to back it. And they're looking for high quality content, really from trendsetters like you for their own 2021 renaissance or reinvention. This report has 30 themes and 150 trends. The breadth behind this report is one of the points that we're most proud of. And when we dug into the data, there was just so much goodness we'd be leaving on the table by limiting ourselves to 100 trends like we included in our previous P100 reports. So we expanded our report to include our additional findings. And just like our pinners and so many of us around the world, we decided that it was time for some of our own reinvention. So we unfortunately won't have time to go through all 30 themes today, but I've listed them up here by category just to give you a quick at a glance view. And I'm excited to dig into six additional themes for now. For each, we'll run through the broader predictions for that vertical and the search terms that make up that theme. As a reminder, the full report is of course available at pinterestpredicts.com. So our first theme is in the well-being category. In 2021, we know that self-care is something that people will continue to prioritize. New age wellness rituals are on the rise especially, and pinners are really focused on their mental, physical, and spiritual selves more than ever before. And we're predicting alt alternative wellness methods will enter the mainstream as pinners look for ways to manifest their highest self and get in touch with their magical side. They'll upgrade their bath time with influences from ancient rituals, and pinners will continue to find their zen with upgraded wind down rituals and more intentional bedtime routines. The trends that we include in our report are actually born in a number of ways. So I mentioned earlier that this is both an art and a science. Usually we start in our data and identify patterns from there. But sometimes these trends are actually born from a hunch or a hypothesis that we all have as pinners ourselves. This may be a familiar story to some, but halfway through last year, I found myself struggling with insomnia. I had always been a pretty good sleeper, but those 3 a.m. recurring wake-ups were hitting real hard. I tried all the obvious things, minimizing caffeine, minimizing screen time before bed, but I just couldn't seem to shake that pattern. So bleary-eyed, I turned to Pinterest for helpful solutions to get me back on track. And it turns out I wasn't alone in my searches our data actually showed an upward trajectory for sleep routine searches forecast for 2021. My searches yielded a number of ideas, some of them less obvious. I'm, sti I'm still figuring out the right combination. Is it the lavender sleep blend with a 15 minute restorative yoga class an hour before bed? But I'm still pleased to report that my wakeups are getting closer and closer to dawn. Small wins. There's just so much that can go into optimizing a sleep routine. And with these intentions in mind, think about the opportunities for your content to play a role in developing that coveted sleep ritual. 
How can you help pinners turn their bedrooms into sleep sanctuaries? Creators in the home space can highlight their choice of the sheets, weighted blankets, and mattresses that keep bedtime extra cozy. Or you can share recipes for nighttime tea blends or the vitamin and supplement combinations you favor as natural sleep aids. Think about the important role of audio in a wind down or sleep routine. Can you create calming playlists or sleep stories for those middle of the night moments? Next up, travel. 2020 was an especially tough year for this category with most people homebound. In 2021, with vaccines rolling out, people will start to research, book, and hopefully explore again. They will resume planning and replanning their dream vacations. And as people ease back in, we expect outdoor exploration to trend up big time with activities like RV camping and stargazing becoming more popular. Like our rewilding trend last year, this one is about getting back to nature, but pinners are searching for so much more than just tips for a weekend getaway. Nomad Normal is about a lifestyle on the road. Think about empty nesters here who are hitting the road in their RV or even tent equipped motorcycles. I actually have a colleague who's making her way back across the country currently in a refurbished van. Despite us connecting several times a week, I had no idea that she was embracing this life on the road until an, an online post actually tipped me off. Choosing her parking spots strategically, she is a living embodiment of this trend and she hasn't missed a beat with her day job. There are so many opportunities for creators to plug into this lifestyle on the go. Can you show pinners how to prep a portable yet gourmet meal around a stargazing theme? Or if you're in the beauty space, think about developing content around that skincare or cosmetics routine on the road, complete with application tips via compact mirror. Prepare for a renaissance in the kitchen. In 2021, people will experiment with new flavors, techniques, and cuisines at home. Pinners will bring the heat with spiced up recipes and intense flavor profiles. They'll take on Michelin worthy meals at home and tap, in, and tap into gourmet food plating and intricate culinary ideas. And they'll get creative with charcuterie, experimenting with breakfast spreads and dessert boards to up their entertaining game. So here we'll go a little deeper on the You're the Top Chef theme. I can't say that I've quite mastered my food plating game, but I've definitely enjoyed that extra time at home in the mornings to up level my breakfast game and dress up those in-between meeting sandwiches. So as Jenna mentioned, pinners are taking regular and reinventing it. And here are the most popular ways that we see pinners reinventing what they're producing in the kitchen. Presentation is of course a priority and we see a focus on searches for garnish inspo and food plating techniques. Sourdough may have been the thing for 2020, but in 2021, they're not just baking bread. Pinners are using it as a canvas. Make it easy for pinners to excel in the kitchen. Think about how a story pin can serve as a guide to the gadgets and appliances that the pros use. A lesson on the perfect garnish will help meet the 55% year over year spike in searches for food garnishes as well. And don't forget the role of home cleaning products for after your masterpiece has been served and cleared. They're the real unsung heroes behind this trend. And now back to Jenna to dig into three additional trends. Thanks, Talia. Home. The role that home plays in our life will continue to expand next year. For many, home will continue to be a workplace, a gym, a school, movie theater, and so much more. Pinners will dream beyond an open floor plan, investing in specialized rooms to create more privacy. They'll infuse their style and mood into their decor choices, updating their interiors as they would their outfits, neat, vibey lights. And they'll put a new spin on the gallery wall with kitchen shelving. So help pinners give their kitchen shelves an upgrade. Is it an installation tutorial for that floating shelf or suggestions of how to create the right palette of mismatched ceramic plates? Think about the role of paint or wallpaper have in creating these display features as well. Next up, fashion. Shopping is not what it used to be and neither is the fashion industry. This past year has proven that comfort is paramount. But in the year ahead, pinners will prove that personal, personal style can be both elevated and homey. Layering with blankets and slouchy socks will hit the streets along with cozy aesthetic outfits and quilted accessories. Sweats will evolve into flowy jumpsuits and silky pants, and custom sweatshirts and jean paint ideals will turn old basics into new classics. 
up close and personal. With fashion, we're seeing a new kind of re reinvention. Pinners are making their mark on their clothing this year, and it's so much more than just turning jeans into jorts. They're making elaborate changes to their clothing, or in fact, designing them from scratch. So help pinners take customization up a notch. If you're a creator that provides custom embroidery or monogramming, lean into this offering to pinners with your creative. Think about how you can showcase art or supply products as a way for pinners to add a personal touch to their favorite slouchy athlo pants. And thinking ahead to your gift guides for this holiday season, never too early, definitely encourage your audience to personalize their presence. Beauty. Staying in is the new going out, but that really won't stop pinners from expressing themselves through fresh new beauty looks. In the year ahead, barely their beauty in knotless braids will take center stage as pinners explore new ways to showcase their natural features. And when the inspiration strikes, colorful eyebrows and butterfly makeup will help pinners find fantasy in the everyday. Meet Indie Beauty, where cheeky is the new chic. With so much seriousness in our lives these days, I love the levity that pinners are bringing to their beauty look. This trend is driven by Gen Z's and it's all about filters IRL. Help pinners nail down the trendiest beauty looks of 2021. Creators in the beauty space can promote bold shadows and candy colored lipsticks that pop on all skin tones or share polish ideas for emoji inspired nail art. Across categories, think about leaning in on the doodle inspired aesthetic by using cheeky decals to enhance your creative assets and appeal to this audience. We loved going into a few of our favorites in more detail today, but please remember there are 30 themes, 150 trends, really there's something for everyone. Now back over to Talia to share a little bit more about how you can bring some of these trends to life. Thanks, Jenna. So, I mean, here's really where you plug in. Many of these ideas are born on Pinterest from trendsetters like you. People are looking to creators to inspire them for their next daily mantra, weekly routine, or once in a lifetime event. With Pinterest tools, creators can see what people are needing now and can share ideas to meet them where they're going. Here are some examples of story pins that represent ways that creators have actually already engaged with emerging trends on Pinterest, even before our report launched in December. So here we have You're, You're the Top Chef, represented by Dominique and Zell Bakery, Indie Beauty with Sandy Lynn, Nomad Normal with the Joshua Treehouse, Boss Braids with Naima LaFond, and Skinimalism with Lindsay Love. And as you navigate which trends speak to you most, consider story pins as a way to share with your audience just how easy it is to try these trends themselves. These multi-page pins incorporate video, photo, and text, and their reach actually goes beyond just followers. In fact, it extends to those interested in your ideas too. So these are really a great way to build your audience on Pinterest. And actually we're hosting a workshop in April to dive even deeper into best practices for story pins. So stay tuned for more info on that. So we encourage you all to dive deeper at pinterestpredicts.com where again, you'll see some of the story pins that I mentioned featured on select theme pages. And I just wanted to end with some good news. You don't have to wait an entire year for your next batch of trends. We're actually planning to roll out much more in our trends programming in the coming months, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, that's a wrap. I 